I've always been a guitar guy, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate how badass a bass can sound. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're alerted whenever new content is uploaded. This is Cliff Burton. He was the basis for Metallica until he tragically died in the early 80s in a bus crash. He is super, super talented. In case you ain't figured out by now, this video is all about bass. I've never owned my own bass guitar, so I figured it was time to go ahead and get one. So in this video, you'll see I choose the bass and order it, then I unbox it, and then uh, try to play a tune or two. I chose this bass by Galeri because it was beautiful and it was cheap, only 125 bucks. When it arrived, the box looked like the driver had been playing soccer with it. Time to unpackage it. It came with a couple of little goodies, but we'll go over that in a little bit. It is a very good looking bass, I'm very impressed with it. Now let's just hope it sounds as good as it looks. Alright, like I said, it comes with a couple of goodies like this right here, a new cable for you to plug your amp into the guitar. Also comes with an Allen key to make some adjustments. And a strap, which uh, if y'all watched my acoustic, it's uh, the same and it's very small. And it also comes with a pretty cool gig bag. Now it's time to tune the bass. And you know what they say, you can tune a bass, but you can't tune a fish. This is a bass amp I gave my son quite a few years back and uh, he just recently gave it back to me, which uh, kind of inspired me to get this bass in the first place. As you can see, I went ahead and got a new strap. Now it's time to jam. Hey, wait a minute. You don't use a pick on a bass. You pluck a bass. Hey, wait a minute. I don't know how to play bass. 
Well, that doesn't stop me from trying right off the rip. I play the standard that I play on anything I ever get. Something I made up myself. I went online to quickly learn a couple of sections of a couple of songs. See if you can tell what I'm trying to play. Yeah, it's definitely worthy of being on the wall with the rest of my rigs. Overall, I was very impressed with the bass. It had a really good sound to it, it played really well, and it uh, seems to be constructed fairly sturdy. Now, I'm not saying by any means that I'm a bass guy now, but uh, it's nice to have there if I want to just sit there and fiddle around with something. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Well, that's it for this week, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really helps us out. And right, we'll see you next week.